Hello, my name is Donna Scott, and I'm the Programs and Projects Lead at the National Snow and Ice Data Center. For the next few minutes, I will be sharing a bit of information about NSIDC and our priorities we are focusing on. We lean on our unique strengths to respond to the changing landscape of data management. I will mention some of the challenges we are facing and raise questions for how the WDS may help. NSIDC began in 1976 as a World Data Center for Glaciology at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Our success comes from our domain-specific expertise in data management and science research. We leverage the knowledge and expertise across a number of data management programs and our science team to inform our philosophies around the best practices in data management. Our strategic plan guides our priorities to meet our mission, to be the authoritative data management and science center for cryospheric data and research. One of our priorities is to ensure alignment of the data management and science arms of the organization. Doing so helps us better respond to the ever-changing landscape that now emphasizes open data and open science, as well as the expectations of aspirational data management principles like FAIR or Core Trust Seal. Science interprets the data and the data enables the science. As such, our data management programs rely on our science team, a user advisory group, and user feedback to guide our approach to best serve the community. NSIDC's principles of data management are built upon a set of criteria, discover, access, usage, provenance, and support. The activities and processes that make up these criteria have helped us demonstrate best practices beyond just data management. We are more than a data archive or clearinghouse that only serves to store or distribute data. We see ourselves as data stewards. The principles and approaches we have developed have helped us meet many of the newly defined expectations of trustworthiness and openness. As we learn as part of the core trust seal evaluation, we do have room to grow. One of the main challenges that we are facing in relation to these principles is just staying up to date on the growing number of data stewardship principles being presented by different authoritative bodies. Another challenge is that historical operational repositories like NSIDC are expected to make the necessary changes in a time frame that may not be realistic. Another priority is to ensure a robust and growing financial future. NSIDC's financial future is dependent upon the integration of data management and science objectives. We are committed to the diversified data portfolio strengthened by our broad science expertise. We work toward this end by coming together to further our opportunities and expanding our data management and science teams. Like other earth science domains, there are challenges that we face around funding. In addition to competition that exists for both data management and science research, our existing funding model causes a challenge. It does not allow the support of diverse and important cryospheric research data sets that lie outside of the acceptance criteria of our funding agencies. There is also a lack of funding for both researchers and data repositories to maintain and or improve upon older data sets. These data sets are important, providing historical information and extending climate data records. Without funding of these data sets, it is challenging to meet some of the current principles of data stewardship. In our instructions, we were asked, how can the WDS help? I think the WDS can help by, by improving upon the definition of what makes a data center responsible and trustworthy. Is there room for the measure of trustworthiness to include the value and reputation established within the targeted community? And for historical domain specific repositories, adapting to these newer principles is a significant challenge without the infusion of funding. Are there ways for the WDS to contribute to the funding needs of those repositories working toward core trust seal criteria that the WDS now requires for membership. Thanks for listening. Please reach out to me if you have any questions at dscott at nsidc.org.